Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Lions. So, we have kind of a interesting fight coming up here and we're gonna have to reconfigure a little bit based on it. You know how Meliodul and Orlandu can destroy equipment? Well, we're fighting people who also can do that. So, I don't want to lose anything too critical, like the Mirage Vest. As much as it saddens me to do this, we're going to have to take it off. I, I mean, you can try destroying their weapons first, but uh, we don't really have Meliodul at a high enough proficiency to do that. Um, yeah, I might as well take the status protection that the Black Guard garb gives us. Also, pretty much all the attacks we're going to encounter are going to have 100% accuracy, so might as well recover that lost speed unit. Uh, Brett, I'm going to swap out for a Crystal Helm. And unfortunately, that's too valuable for this fight. Actually, you know what? We're just going to do a one-time special, just because we have to take this fight seriously. We're going, going to have an homage to uh, an old classic. Throw the ice brand in there. Get her physical. Well, actually, speed plus two is pretty tempting. Pretty remarkable right now. Uh, no sense going for anything, like caring too much about what our shield is. But it's all generic equipment, she's got pretty good offense. And let's set up her abilities accordingly. Unless. No, she's 8 JP short of learning safeguard. So we'll give her Holy Sword, and then she should be pretty good. Well, Fear is a monk, so he's probably, yeah, doesn't have anything that great anyway. I'll take the Invisibility Cloak out for spin, because we haven't seen it yet. Uh, Beowulf, unfortunately, is using an extremely good sword. And we can't risk losing any of this gear. And I don't have the ability to protect it, so... But I do want to use him in this fight. I want to use all the X Templar and Melee Duel. Oh, I didn't realize she could, she's like her brother. That's kind of cool. Uh, we'll just give her a Rune Blade, which is a piece of equipment I do really like. I mean, this is probably enough. So yeah, let's leave it at that. Uh, the other option is, I guess, you know, Rius doesn't really use any equipment anyway, so we could just bring her in. Yeah. So she's a strong candidate as well. Does she have... No, she doesn't have even move plus one. For a fight like this... Okay, she can't even use Germanus shoes. All right! can boost the elemental damage from her breath attacks. That's what we'll go with. And Orlando, I think we're just gonna leave out. Just in case I change my mind in the next 10 seconds though. All right. Agrius front and center. Balthier can hang up back. He's kind of the medic in this situation. Alright, let's see what happens. We stand to lose little, so we can just go after them. Um, yeah, you'll find out all about this.
not 100% sure, but I think a nave is like a sanctuary. A, I don't know, it looks more like an entrance. Well, who knows? Yeah, sure. No. How about we fight to the death? We both know that's how the story ends. Good for you. Yeah, but I have something you need just as much as you need, so it doesn't matter if you want to negotiate. And he's totally bluffing. He needs Alma alive. Are you sure you want to give those back to the church? The idea that there is only one copy in the world of this book is kind of profound. Feels distant to me in the digital age. Which you now have memorized. Yeah, I think he actually didn't need the stones at all. Yeah, bring it on. Yeah, of course, Ramza. Nice symmetry between his negotiations with Mustadio. Or on Mustadio's behalf, I guess, where he gave up the Zodiac Stone. Why didn't you ask this question earlier? He killed his own son, but kept your sister alive. Also, note the lack of denial in front of his daughter. Let's see if maybe we can take Clutch in out of the occasion. Or out of the equation. There we go. Getting a little tired. Just like before. Oh, I love it. Oh, poor slow Rius. I should have had her attack uh, Agrius first. All right, let's see what we can do. No super damage this time. She'll be effectively negated if they uh, break her sword, remember. He is manipulating you. Oh my. Good clarity of thought from her, though. Alright, the one I'm most worried about is Kletchen, so let's see if we can dispatch him. Ah. What is more valuable to you? Can we lower your speed? No. It might be a Zodiac thing there, because she's still... That's underperforming her damage potential, I think. By quite a bit, actually. I guess we should just have him wait. He'll get his, tune, or his turn sooner this way. Oh boy.
forgot to check if this f spell would execute in time. You hang in there, Ramza. His equipment uh, did what we could not. I think that's Flare or Holy incoming. Yeah, we'll go for it. Yay! Okay, we might be able to dispatch him here with a well-placed aura blast. One Templar down. Oh, all three of you are gonna run? Yep, they're the worst. And you're kind of naked. Yay, we won the battle! I didn't think... I didn't think there was another battle here. Well, let's just remember to, uh... Re-equip Ramza real quick. I think I'll just keep everyone... Well, you know what, we'll switch Agrius back to... Um... A Lancer real quick, or a Dragoon, pardon me. For some reason I thought, uh... This would be longer. I'm gonna nerf her equipment again, just in case. And in we go in the next episode. I'll see you there, everybody.